Well, it's wonderful to see you. Good morning, everybody. We are so blessed to celebrate together all you wonderful people gathered here and gathered around your television sets, live streaming. But we're all present to God because God is present to each one of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. That greeting, my dear folks, uh, it recognizes how God is family, family for each one of us. And within the Trinity itself, we are invited to share infinite love. The readings talk about that today, but they also talk about forgiveness. And so let us open our hearts and continue to praise God for his goodness to us in forgiveness. You have called us to bear witness to the power of your love in our world. Lord, have mercy. We see it in those who continue to reach out in charity, to do good works, to help the sick, to help the poor. Christ, have mercy. May we follow the example and the pathway of our Lord in ministering to the sick. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Old Testament and from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord.
your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness, remember he shows sinners the way. Good and upright is the Lord because of your goodness, O Lord. He guides the humble to a justice and teaches the humble his A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do not out of selfish or out of vainglory, rather humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, Every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to Mark, or Matthew actually. It's Matthew. This particular parable is only found in Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? 
A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not, but afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. That son said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him. But tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. My mom pretty much raised the three of us kids while working full time, single parent, providing for us in many ways and teaching us in many ways. Can you hear me all right? A little louder, huh? Now is it on? Oh, there. Now that certainly helps, doesn't it? And uh, she never uh, hit us or spanked us, except for one time, where my brother and I were out in the backyard and greatly tempted by the plums that were growing in the neighbor's yard. So we jumped over the fence and had our fill of the plums. We thought we got away with it. But the neighbor, of course, found that uh, some plums were eaten and it wasn't by birds. So they asked my mom, did the kids get into that? And so mom said, did you boys jump over that fence and eat those plums? Of course, I said, oh no, we denied it. Well, my younger brother had a twinge of conscience and finally said to mom, oh, Mike and I, we jumped over the fence and we, we had some plums. Oh, my. She was so upset, and rightly so, not just because of the plums, but because we had lied to her. And so immediately she grabbed the spatula and we got a whipping. The first and only one I've ever gotten. But I always remember it. It's called discipline. And discipline comes from the Latin word to teach. I was taught by the spatula in my mom's hand. It was a good lesson. And ultimately, I had to realize it was done out of love because she cared. She cared about her boys. She cared about honesty. She cared about truth. She cared about our happiness and made those sacrifices. Interestingly enough, the first reading gives us the theme about God's ways, which are often a mystery to us. We often cannot fathom, why am I losing my husband or my wife or my child? Why am I suffering this in this world when God is supposed to be all good? Those questions, I'm sure, come into all of our minds 
at times of deep distress or when we are disappointed either in ourselves or in others or we can't quite make the grade or we think that we are better than we really are. But the second reading of St. Paul says this is the attitude you should have, the attitude of Christ. You remember that he's God and yet he humbly accepted the frailty and the situation of being a human being. He accepted it all for he was like us in everything but sin. And so St. Paul says get courage from that. Realize that God himself gave us the example of how to continue to grow and be happy in heaven because this is not heaven as we well can see by all the things that are going on in the world at this time and yet there is so much good prevailing isn't there people generously and charitably giving of themselves helping others that isn't something that makes the news all the time sin makes the news often but it's no for us to be able to the gift of grace to realize that God loves each one of us and has our interests more than we have ourselves in mind in anything that happens and so we have the gospel and the gospel once again reinforces the theme of the other readings that God's ways are far above ours and we see how Christ spoke to the Pharisees and it sounds harsh and it is but he says it because he loves them he loves the Pharisees and the scribes he doesn't want them to miss out on God's wonderful will to save them so he will tell them that prostitutes and sinners are getting to heaven before you to shake them up to give them a kind of a not so much a pat on the back as rather a swat on the behind as I told you the word discipline comes from the Latin to teach and sometimes it takes a little bit of a pat not just on the back but on the behind for us to learn so rejoice that God loves you so much. He's not going to let you go. He doesn't want to lose you. He doesn't want to lose anybody. Because the main axiom that we find in the scripture that God wills the salvation of all. But he won't force you. But he wants the salvation of all. He wants all of us to be happy. Now, I know it's difficult to appreciate everything as grace. But if you work at it and you're grateful and we grow in hum humility, we're able to appreciate day from day and to the rest of our lives how much God loves us and that the gifts that he gives us are all grace to get us to fulfill and complete God's wonderful will of salvation in each one of us so that we can rejoice with each other and appreciate all God's love in each other as well. lots of obstacles in the way right it's not always easy to get around do I have a 
What did I do with the K? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Let's all profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again in, on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing the compassionate love and forgiveness of our Heavenly Father shown to us in Christ, we humbly now turn in prayer. For God's holy church, in word and deed, may it proclaim God's boundless mercy to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may they work together to safeguard the environment and to aid those most affected by climate change. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord you hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have experienced hardship and injustice, for those out of work, and for those who despair, may they find hope strength, and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For an end to division, violence, hatred, and racism in our communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all gathered here, that we may always and eagerly welcome those who have been lost, have, who have lost their way, and those who seek God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all in our parish community who are ill or homebound, especially June and James Antonelli, June, June and, James. and James, Bill McNamara, Bill, Bill. Elizabeth Olivas, Elizabeth, Linda Olive, Linda, Linda Olive, Cheryl Conway, Cheryl, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our sisters and brothers who have died in faith especially Reuben Castaneda, Reuben. Stanley Castaneda, Stan. Samantha Wachowski. Samantha. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the especial intentions in our hearts, and for Ray Castaneda, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayer. Well, for all gathered here and those who are live streaming, that we may always and eagerly welcome those who have lost their way and that God will seek them out, embrace them, forgive them, and bring them home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh God, I seek safe harbor in the storm, a place of peace.
My dear brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. You have no need of our praise, yet our very desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in your grace through Christ our Lord. And so we join angels and saints as they praise your glory in the unending song of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once again, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the beloved Apostles, Peter and Paul, with our patrons, Unipra Sarah, Bonaventure, Kateri, Tikawitha, and with all of the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us continue to glorify God in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the joyful coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Oh, there's no deacon. Kindly show that peace of the Lord to each other. Peace. Mm -hmm. Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. And may this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose sufferings we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Announcements. Next weekend is the first weekend of the month and the Catholic Charities Food Pantry Collection. We are very grateful for your generosity. First Friday Masses on October 2nd are at 7.30 in the morning in English and at 7.30 in the evening in Spanish, followed by adoration until 10 o'clock p.m. The Mass of Christian Burial for Michael Olivas uh, will be offered this coming Wednesday, September 30th, uh, here in the Garden at noon. For more information on these and more events, please visit our website. And for those present, please take home today's bulletin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to continue to love and serve the Lord in each other. Thanks be to God.